Routines are something that occurs all the time in our lives, whether we like it or not. Every day, we wake up and go into auto drive, like a robot that follows a routine that we have just got used to doing. And for most of us, that routine feels like a drag. It takes a few of these before we can actually pull our feet out of the bed. Now, everyone's daily routines will be slightly different. However, I think it's safe to say that if any of us don't complete our usual daily routine, the rest of the day just doesn't feel right. Then typically, we will go to work for the majority of the day and then come back home. Or in today's world, most people just start work and then finish work, as a lot of us are working at home. And then we have our dinner and sit in front of the TV to watch something like Love Island. We then go to sleep and repeat everything over again. But in that daily routine, the routine that takes up the most time of the day and subsequently the most time in our lives is our jobs. And sometimes routines become so normal that we forget to ask that all important question. Am I in the right job? Now this is a very personal question and everyone will have to approach this question differently. But today I thought I would give you an insight to me landing the job that I actually enjoy and am happy with. There will always be an underlying question that you need to ask yourself. Are you happy with working at a job where you work for someone else? Or do you want to be an entrepreneur and work for yourself? So for me, I was brought up with the idea that you need to study hard and get a good degree so you can get a good job that can give you stability to have a good future, which is definitely a path that works for many people. And that was exactly the route that I started. My mindset was set to living life with a regular salary, which meant that I knew exactly how much money I would have each month and give me the chance to plan out a life with my wife. However, being the kind of person that I am, I question everything around me, which led me to realizing that there are other ways to live my life. So a few years ago, I gave up my corporate job and I tried starting up a business. But when switching to the entrepreneur lifestyle, you have to also be able to stomach a lot of failure and difficulties. As they say, nine out of 10 startup businesses fail. And unfortunately, I ended up falling into that 90%. However, the failure actually led me to learn a lot about setting up and running a business. One of the key things I learned was that in order to go down this path, you have to be able to be comfortable with most likely working many more hours than a traditional job and go through a few years of turmoil before hitting the jackpot and everything taking off. And you have to be prepared for a lot of ups and downs along the whole process. Now this then left me going back into the corporate world. But one advice I would give everyone pursuing the corporate world path is to understand your self-worth. Once I started to believe that I was worth more, I realized I had to work harder and smarter to land positions that can help me climb the corporate ladder to a position where I felt valued. Now, there are a few key things that I found that are vital to any job. And once I realized these few points, I managed to find the job that I actually enjoyed going to. First of all, when you're spending the majority of your life at work, it is absolutely vital that you work with people you actually like. Now this doesn't particularly have to mean that you're best friends with them, but if you really dislike a person you have to work with day in, day out, this is an immediate red flag that you will end up living a life of misery. So this is truly one of the most important factors to assess when looking at your current situation or if you're looking at potential new positions as well. Now, so the second factor is your work-life balance. I have worked at positions before where almost every day I would need to continue to work after the standard working hours. Now this could either be because I didn't do enough work during the day, which is fully my own fault, or it could be because there was just too much work to get finished within the working hours, or there is a chance that I just wasn't good enough for the job. And so I would spend extra hours trying to work out how to do the work. And when you're in your 20s and at the bottom of the career ladder, it sometimes helps to be able to do those extra hours to gain experience and show your value. However, once you get a little bit older, your self-value should shine through the work that you do. Therefore, a switch in your mindset needs to happen where rather than thinking, I need to use my time to show how good I am, you will transition to, I know I'm already good at what I do, 
my time is more valuable doing something else. And maybe that extra time could be used to relax and rejuvenate yourself. Or maybe it could be used to spend time with your friends and family. Or in my case, I wanted to use the additional hours in the day to start up a side business and also spend time with my friends and family as well. This is why I feel I have resulted in a job currently where I truly enjoy the people that I work with. I like the fact that on most days, I can switch off at the end of the day and start working on my side hustles like this YouTube channel or an Amazon FBA business, which I'll probably make some videos about in the near future. And also have enough time to spend quality time with my wife and both of our families. Even though I get job offers for positions that will pay me a higher salary, sometimes you just need to sit down and assess the situation and understand where you have something good and weigh out the pros and cons of chasing after money. There does become a tipping point where you end up exchanging more of your time in order to not get a significant amount of money in return. But this always needs some personal scrutiny because if I was working for someone else and getting a little bit more money, I would not actually be happy. However, if I'm working for myself, doing YouTube videos and starting up a business in my spare time, making almost nothing, well, at the moment nothing, I'm still happy because I know I'm growing something that has a potential to be even bigger in the future. And at the end of the day, for me, the ultimate goal is to build a life where I can generate passive income so that I can then use that money to fund the life that I actually want to be living. And that's a life of doing charity work. Now I hope this video has inspired you to take a moment to think about your daily life and think about whether you're actually enjoying doing the job that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And if not, have you thought about the ways in which you can change your life for the better? If you need any help with assessing your current situation, leave a comment down below and I'll reply with what I think could be the best solution for you. Now that's it for me today. Peace and love to all of you. See you on the next video. Bye.